So in the last episode, I said there would be some changes. To start, we're going to give Tamaris the Dark Forest Ranger Bow. Then we're going to give her Black Ebony Bow to Fossil, who has 9 power draw now. And we'll give his Elven Elmwood Bow to Shijin. And Antiope's out at 8 power draw. And she can use the Noble Bow, which is quite a big upgrade from her old bow. For now, I'm going to make Air Canis a Elephant Archer. And this bow is not that great. I need to find a better one. But I'm going to be giving the Leaf Bombs to myself. One thing you may notice is I gave myself 11 power throw. I decided to do this because I want to test out Leaf Bombs for myself. And I didn't want to start over another character. I might have eventually but this playthrough has taken me a long time and there's some other projects i want to work on league of legends season 9 preseason starts in a week so i'm gonna be doing a lot of that and i don't see myself starting another playthrough directly after this one just so i can get to this point and test out leaf bombs we are in day 221 and we have pretty good progress but i feel like i could have done way more in way less time so eventually i want to do a kind of a speed run of this game but for now there's some other things i want to work on and so i want to test out leaf bombs on this playthrough if this was a speed run obviously it would not be a legitimate speed run but i feel like it doesn't really compromise the playthrough to too much if anything i was testing out leaf bombs and you have an easier early game as a leaf bomb thrower as far as i know like there's a lot more cool things i could do with leaf bombs than as an archer we got zero rents from quail and 1200 terrorists from quail we actually got more rents from their villages than we did the actual town itself and our dive at Lille is being sequestered so we're gonna head over there and we're gonna try to take out Lille from the Zan. the main thing i have to worry about right now is quinn min and his spearhead in total they have around 900 units and it looks like they're following Cityton. I hope he's faster, but he has a lot of prisoners, which is definitely slowing him down a bit. It looks like the spearhead ran away and they're chasing someone else. And we ended up catching this guy all alone. I also gave myself 11 power throw, which was equal to my power draw. And so basically the leaf bomb damage scales off of power throw. Uh, the more power throw you have, the more splash damage it does. We lost two mercenary red guards. No big deal. Allies lost some Geldar. And we took out Lord Quinn Min's party of 280 units. Hopefully we captured him and he got away. And we rescued this blood shaman. It looks like kind of a beast. Picked up some items to sell we are running out of space and so quinn min's spearhead is now following some deserters we're just gonna let them do that and we're gonna try to sneak back over to lily right now we'll sell the loot we picked up for 11k sell the prisoners as well for 13k so we're gonna check the treasury at four iron shout out to the guy in the comment section that said you can withdraw by using the arrow keys if you hit down arrow you can withdraw and it looks like they had 59k in the treasury so we'll just take most of that out and so that puts us up to 92k i was kind of wondering where the money was going all right said Heathon, we're going back over to lil you stumbled across a small herd of cattle slaughter them and eat them we got some beef the moment of truth how many units does lil have in the garrison 224 that's easily doable quick little three hour ladder attack and lil is ours generally the strategy is you want to put your units with shields at the very front because the enemy archers tend to attack whatever's closest to them the only casualty we lost was a geldar forest warden and we took out their garrison of two 224 and i will defer to leel what will be the name of your kingdom that's her name of course what will be the name of your kingdom you can return to your family my relation with what will be the name of your kingdom has increased from zero to one it seems like what will be the name of your kingdom is a pretty popular female name in prisno i'm gonna build a prison tower at four and iron it will only take six days and i can store lords here and it will reduce the chance that they will escape emperor zan the mandate of heaven has 596 units my god he also has a spearhead with 166 units he's accompanying lord licinius it appears they are running away Way. they do have a solid 1k plus units here though all right they siege leal i don't know if we can fight them i'm not sure if we should fight them in leal or we could try to fight them on the field and use our mercenary company i am using the rule of no retreating however so if we do end up losing this we're gonna lose everything the one thing i'm worried about is for some reason there's no option to manage improvements at leal and so i can't tell if we actually got the blacksmith finished or not if we don't have a blacksmith forge it's gonna make it a lot harder to defend especially against so many units because our units will run out of arrows i'm gonna dump off some of the worst her units is this Pakal shaman any good 111 hp 370 proficiencies 10 power strike and this Pakal dismember 54 piercing damage it's not that long though and it's pretty slow and their body armor is terrible we'll dump them off in the garrison as well as like all the crappier units and we'll take the garrison's best units they have all these dark forest archers some champions and i think we will give up leal for now mainly because i don't want to fight without a forge there's like eight units over here but the horde of kurgia is the only one that has a bunch of units in it i kind of want to head that way over to like essa hill castle and try to siege that hopefully we can get around them fns castle only has 383 units and it's a ladder siege let's do it we have 10 engineers as well we lost the wheel but that's okay it's like the leaf bomb throwers are doing a lot of work here all right we killed 176 on the first attack we will be retreating we lost four allies only lost one and like i said i won't be retreating on land battles but in sieges i will be retreating there's so much leaf bomb explosion going on that the text is not showing up at the moment that time around we only lost one gildar unit and we took out 202 there's a thick kabuto on the ground somebody's gonna want that i will defer to fns 
Darkness Castle. Something tells me we probably won't be able to hold it. So I probably should have given it to Lord Tylan. That would have given us relation with him. Oh no. Oh god, that guy got caught. Although the the horde is really far behind. We have 447 against 425. There's a bunch of scouts and one spearhead in this battle. They're trying to encircle us. We're just going to have everyone back up a bit. Holy crap, we're losing a lot of units. Oh god. We just lost so many Elantor knights and Sunrise Riders. I was not paying attention to where they were and they charged in the enemy reinforcements. We ended up gaining 8 to renown for that battle. Tragically, we did lose 8 Sunrise Riders and 5 knights. The Gildar lost 19, but that's okay. And we took out 425. We got three Elantorn bowmen back, a dark forest archer, and some other random units. And we're up to 78 prisoners. We picked up a step armored warhorse. The thing has a lot of charge and a lot of armor. This healer robe gives plus one wound treatment and plus one surgery. And since I have two, we give our party a plus one bonus. If we put the robe on Allendale, it doesn't actually improve his surgery in first aid. So he would have just been better off capping his wound treatment and surgery out at nine. Kara has three level up. She's been doing work and she has a lot of charisma, a good amount of intelligence too. I wonder if I should make her into a lord. I could get her up to 7 leadership and 5 trainer. We'll give her Ethnis Castle. We didn't lose a relation with Thailand for doing that too. Usually you end up losing a relation with companion lords if you give away fiefs to other lords. And Tolrania declared war against the Zan. That's good for us. That's one more person that the Zan's going to be fighting against. Although Tolrania is looking pretty weak right now. They only have Galway as their last town. And let's see if this spearhead will catch up to us. Um, wow, Sidithon absolutely destroyed that scout. If I were to attack this spearhead right now, the horde would automatically join. But if we allow the spearhead to catch Sidithon, we can join the battle and the horde won't be able to participate. And they're fighting. Let's help out. We do have a lot of wounded units, so we're down to 363. We're up on a hill this time, though. This is a really good starting terrain. We're going to fight this a lot smarter. We're going to just dismount all the cavalry archers. I'm not going to charge them at all anymore. And we're going to make the most massive cavalry wall you've ever seen. That thing is looking extremely formidable. We've taken out about half of them, and part of me really wants to retreat. So our units got to be getting really low on arrows. But a lot of them, including the Red Guards, do have multiple quivers, so we might be able to hold out here. Also, as we get down to the bottom of their party, they are going to be charging in with crappier units. In that whole battle, we only lost five. The Gildar lost five. But we took out 3D1. We fought that a lot better. We should take out the Spirit of Lord Sungwo. It only has 120 units and 100 prisoners. We only lost the Zealot, and we got a bunch of rescued prisoners. They aren't very high tier units though. I was going to also check on Thailand to see if he had units he could help us with, but he is sitting at Malon Castle with zero out of one unit. So he must have just got ambushed by someone. So we'll let him regenerate his troops and we'll come back another day. When they attacked Lille, they had 1k units. And generally if they attack with more units, they'll leave more units in the garrison. And yeah, this time Lille has 297 units in the garrison, which isn't too bad. We lost one unit, the Geldar lost one, and we took out their 297. We gained 11 renown as well. And we rescued some units. Got some loot to sell. We don't have much space though. I will defer Lille for now. Let's sell off a lot of this loot for 17k. In the tavern at Lille, we can hire 19 more mercenary red guards for 6.6k. We're going to sell all 108 prisoners for... 14.5k. We're going to head back to Fourn Iron and try to pick up Lille before the week's over. And we, of course, were not able to get it. So we didn't get any income from Leo this week. I wonder if all their money generated went into their treasury. Because it has to go somewhere. Let's see if Fort Iron has any money in their treasury as well. So they had 48k. So let's pick up 40k of that, which brings us to 128k. And I'll make myself Lord of Leo. And it appears that the Xan are coming back over with around 500 units. I think we could take them all out at once. If we catch one of their lords, I think they'll all join or maybe not. In this battle, we're fighting for their lords. I believe they had five. They have 540 units total. We have 496. I believe this is going to be a bloody one. I'm also not retreating at all. And this terrain is the one we're getting. It's not the best. It's got a little bit of a hill to it. So far, doing pretty good. We've killed 260 and we lost about 24 between me and the Gildar. We killed a lot of their higher tier units, so I don't think we should have any trouble finishing them off. Recover 42% hit points for wounded troops. That's pretty good. You can only do that once every minute. I should probably be doing that more. For winning that battle, we gained 36 renown. We lost 14. The Geldar lost 22. But we killed 535. And we took out four of their lords. One got away. We are able to capture Lord Sungwo. He's bad-tempered, so we will capture him. Lady Savend, who has a beard, is sadistic, so we will capture him or her. And Lord Licinius got away. And we got a lot of loot, including a 
bent bladed crossbow which does 97 piercing damage which may seem like a lot compared to a bow because bows don't have nearly that much damage but bow damage scales up with your power draw skill whereas crossbows don't and crossbows are really slow and lord quinn min is actually following our mercenary company although we can step in before their spearhead gets in i think we got it yeah we did <laughs> now that is arguably pretty cheap gameplay their spearhead is literally two steps away and they can't join the battle i don't really know how i feel about that one but that's one of those things where like yeah it's kind of cheap but it's kind of hard to enforce a rule to stop that kind of gameplay like what am i supposed to do say that if they're close then i have to let them join and the game crash it looks like thankfully it did auto save right after we captured those lords and the game crashes and that one was slightly tragic because they were down to about five units i was assuming it crashed because of leaf bombs but i hadn't thrown one for a while maybe one of my companions threw one and it crashed the game all right we took out lord quinn min this time i think that was like my third and my fourth crash this entire playthrough back to back maybe lord quinn min is a part of the matrix and he hacked us he did manage to get away his spearhead is now waiting there's an another spearhead over here so it looks like he had three in total and combined they have over 900 units so it was good that we were able to take him out and we're gonna head back over to Lille and sell some of these prisoners off and the gear we sold the gear for 12.7. So now there's an option to manage Lille. I don't know why the option wasn't there before. And the town does in fact have a blacksmith. The improvements in Prisoner are really cool. The caravan escort outpost sends 30 extra mercenaries with any caravan that originates from the town. When caravans complete deliveries to other towns, it will increase their town's prosperity level, which I believe will make me as the town owner more money. It only takes six days to build it, so I'm gonna do it. And I might as well build something at Solun too while I'm at it. Let's build a school and increase their loyalty. So Thailand only has 47 units on him, and he probably won't follow us but we're gonna start a campaign and once he does get units hopefully he'll send them out to me you chance upon a fight between a group of bandits and merchants the merchants seem to be losing once they see you they plead for help i could slaughter both of them and take all the loot and i could help the bandits but i think the honorable thing would be to kill the bandits yeah we gain honor we're at enduin castle and it is a siege tower but we're gonna try to take it out with 10 engineer skill it takes us 30 hours gildar was defeated what the elves took out gildar oh no at the start of the game we killed some gildar armies and we took out the king and they weren't really regenerating their units at all. They did have some scouting parties running around, but they never got any of their armies back and they weren't really doing anything, so it doesn't really matter that much. We lost four mercenary red guards and one sunrise rider, but that's it. The Geldar lost 26, which is quite a lot, but that's a sacrifice we were willing to make and we took out 434. We got a bunch of prisoners, 40 of them, and some random units. Looks like Talon's gonna join us with this 79 unit party. I was kind of hoping he would have more than that, but that's all right. He does only have one fief. I think we should give him Galmel as well. Ellen Tour has declared war against the Zan dynasty. This could be good for us. These guys have 101 prisoners. If we attack him with Tylen nearby, Tylen will be able to pick up a lot of those prisoners and add them to his party. We get 28 renown for winning this though. So it is somewhat worrying. It looks like they might have pretty strong units. We didn't lose any units as we used Tylen's units as a meat wall and he lost 19. But we did take out 152. They had 77 heavy riders, which was why we got over 20 renown for winning that. We captured a lot of them, but we weren't able to hire many rescued prisoners. Hopefully Tylen can. We got we got a lordly coat which is some pretty nice gloves and Thailand did recover some of his units but he ended up losing around 13 in that battle all right guys thanks for watching i'm gonna end the video right there my goal is to finish this series by november 8th which is six days from now as that is the start date for the new league of legends preseason i know a lot of you guys don't like league of legends don't worry i don't like it either but it makes me money and i'll try to make a more interesting series this season and don't worry i will continue doing plenty of mountain blade content and if i don't finish this series by the 8th then i'll just keep going until i finish it anyways and i'll just do league and mountain blade at the same time anyways i'll try to get next episode out for you guys tomorrow i will see you guys then peace out